welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello I have this couple of weeks latest marketplace haul now there are quite a few toys and mostly littlest pet shops that I picked up this time uh, if you haven't checked out my other marketplace videos please feel free to do so the whole point of these is to encourage mums and dads and kids alike to go take your pocket money down to the local markets to the thrift stores to secondhand garage sales and find yourself a bargain to expand your collection for very very little the most common asked question I get when um, uh, especially parents come over is how did you make expand your child's collection because everybody looks at it and says wow you must have paid a lot of money I don't <laughs> It just takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and making sure you get there early. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is Zelfs. Now Zelfs are more my collection than my children's. I put them in my daughter's room, but I love Zelfs. These little, kind of the reimagining of the Rust Trolls, the original Rust Trolls. These I got for 50 cents New Zealand each. Now it'll work out about 35 cents US. So please remember that... Um, if I state a dollar figure, it is in New Zealand dollars, which is about 60 to 70 cents in, to the US at the moment. So I got this little guy for 50 cents. Very, very cute. These are, of course, the blind bag ones. They're starting to come. I've seen these at quite a few times at the markets. Um, mostly they're going around for a dollar, which is too expensive. You can find them for 20 to 50 cents if you just be patient. As I do them, I'll sit them on this My Little Pony graphic novel in front. <laughs> then I got this one, which is a light. Whoops, a daisy decides to go in. A light green with pink long hair, and it looks like an aquatic or a dragon king zelf. And these ones, of course, you can use as pencil toppers too, which is kind of cool. So if you get double ups and you don't really want to sell them or you get double ups for trade and you don't really want to trade them, you can, you can use them as pencil toppers. A really cool, good idea to do is to, when you attach them, attach them with a bit of blue tack in the bottom here and that'll stick them to your pencil and make it harder for other people, for them to fall off, for other people to take them off, but it won't ruin them by gluing them on. So this one looks like Little D, who is of course one of the series one selves. He's, this is a pearly orange with red hair and a big fluffy tail. Then we have another one of either the dragon or the aquatic cell toppers, if I can get it in. This is a blue and blue combo. Really cool. Then now in the little zelfs, you can get pearl finishes, you can get glitter finishes, and you can get plain. So the idea is to collect the three different sorts of the one. And here is the same one as last time. Except, as you can see, it is glittery all over. So they're really cute. Um, as I said, they're starting to come out now as people who aren't toy collectors, as children have got bored of the craze, Elves are slowly on the way out. Um, they're going to start showing up in garage sales, and now is the time to buy them. <laughs> Okay, so I paid $5 New Zealand for the next lot I'm going to show you. Uh, there is actually two more than I'm going to show you, but I don't know where my kids have put them. They've probably run off to play with them. It was a bag full of Zoobles. Now, Zoobles have been showing up heaps. So if you've been watching my Marketplace videos, you'll, you'll notice that there's heaps of them have been showing up. So this entire bag was $5 New Zealand. Again, about $3.50 US, I'd say. It has a little play set, um, but I'll, first off, I'll show you these little ones. Now these are keepers, basically, to put your zoobles in, like little homes. The idea of zoobles being, if it ever decides, to, the camera is not being my friend today. The idea of being zoobles is that they are balls when you put them on a magnet which these um, homes have a magnet on front, they open up and there is a surprise inside. So these are really cute like gold and pink ones. So I don't know what playset they came after and the sticker on this one's a bit 
funny, but they, you can buy these stickers from stationery stores. <laughs> Just stick it back on there, it's not gonna worry. So here's two of the little habitats that came in this bag. And then there was a larger habitat, which is this one here. It looks to be themed, seaside kind of themed. Uh, you can open it up. Does that come out? No. And of course there's lots of things you can do with your zoobles, like put them down and then they, they go down the slide and <laughs> land down here. So there's lots of things you can do. Oh, you push that up. There is a magnet on this little thing here, so you can sit them on there. Now I'm gonna get one of the smaller habitats. Um, Zoobles, if you don't really know what they do, I'll show you in a second. Um, I'm not really into these sort of habitats, so I will probably be giving this one away to another child who loves Zoobles. Uh, let's have a look. We have this glittery pink ball. Who could it be? It's a bunny rabbit! It is so cute! So that's the idea. They're magnetic creatures and they turn into a ball when they touch a magnet. They open up to reveal the surprise inside. Now, zoobles are very... Um, you have to be very careful with them around sticky things, around hairs, around anything that can mess the mechanics up inside them. I have had a few that have got stuck like this and we've literally almost had to break them to reopen them for the kids they're cool they're cool but just be very careful that they don't get fluff and stuff inside them so that's the first one all right so here we have I think this one's going to be a bird it's pretty obvious because it's got a beak we have a little gold and dark pink ball let's see who it opens up to aha here is where it's showing <laughs> so that's what happens as fluff gets into them. They do get a bit stuck, but that is really cute. I think this one's actually my favorite one of the ones we got. It is adorable, this little gold owl. It's almost like a Valentine's type one. And then we have this one here. It is a light pink with red. I think this one's going to be a puppy. Haha. -ha. Yes, it is. <laughs> so very, very cute again. And fantastic if you are looking for a collectible that is a space saver. These are, don't take up much space at all. And you don't have to get all the habitats. Oh, so the next ball along is this one. And there we go. It's a seahorse, which is really cute. It's almost a little bit robotic, this one. Very, very cute. Um, again, it was $5 for the bag, so $3.50 US. So really cheap. Great thing to entertain the kids. So the littlest pet shops I got this week. Now, I can't give you the total values that I paid for them. Some of them I'll remember. Some of them I won't. I apologize. I did not actually follow whether I paid $3 or $4 for them. That's $3 or $4 New Zealand. Um, I'll bring them up and show you, but it was around that cheap sort of range. So anything from $2 US to $3 US, which I consider very good for the old ones. I know a lot of kids out there prefer the older styles. So the first one I'm gonna show is this real cutie. I think he's absolutely adorable. He's big too. He's this little yellow dog, and I can't believe no one has this as their avatar, or at least that I've seen mascot. I've watched a lot of um, kids' videos that they make with their littlest pet shops. These things are amazing for kids' imagination. I highly recommend them. So that guy there, really cute. He's one of my favorites we got. And then we have this little ducky, which came in this little egg. So whether the duck goes with the egg, I don't know, but that's what happened. <laughs> and the little egg it sits inside isn't that cute that is adorable just even giving this away for Easter is absolutely gorgeous now I have this little one now I think these um, molds are actually I've noticed a few people have uh, a few kids and adults have this as their mascot
so this is the white and pink one of course these are all older styles so they have the pink magnet very very cute i don't know what the um, purpose is of the dots on the side but i'm guessing it's like an art deco area for earrings let me know in the comments below if you you know and then i got two of the same so i have two of these um i was suggesting to and one of them came in a dog house whether it goes with the dog house or not again i don't know so we'll have a look at the house first and as i said i brought these all second hand and these are older style pets which i've noticed people just going crazy kids just go crazy for these pets so this beautiful long-haired doggy and two of them of which i was going to give one away um to my niece but my daughter spotted it and she wants both apparently they're twins these are twin sisters <laughs> so we've got those two and then we got another two the same of these ones now i think this mold's been brought out twice in the top 100 i noticed the mold was brought out twice but one has a light spray of pink above the eye and the other one does not have it so whether this is it's saying this is the girl one and this is a boy one i don't know but that's the difference between the two of them and i'm hoping that shows up on camera adorable then uh we got a bunch of little accessories um which all go with the doggy diner which i'll show so we've got some food bowls and some little tug toys and a doggy biscuit or just sitting here oh i found another zooble i found another zooble i'll quickly bring out so this little habitat which is a blue flower and we'll get this into focus and this one looks like it's going to be a birdie <laughs> that's cute i actually think my daughter already has this one but it's a really cute one so that's another zooble we got in that five dollar bag explains where one of them was missing I was just hiding it behind the little pet shops this doggy isn't that interesting this one has a tiny little paw painted onto it really cute ah so for two two to three dollars us i consider these well worth the investment considering the amount of time the kids play with it this little guy here or girl if you prefer it's got like eyelashes cute terrier i think my daughter already has this one with a little tuft of hair at the top <laughs> adorable <laughs> They are just adorable. Then this one here. Husky dog. <laughs> it looks like a husky to me. It might not be, I don't know, but it looks like a husky. This one has a blue magnet underneath. These ones are so big compared to the new Littlest Pet Shops. I have no problem with the new Littlest Pet Shops. I know that a lot of kids don't like their looks, but I, the only problem I have with them is the size of the original ones compared to the new ones. The older ones are a lot better sizing for play, for just looks. So, look at that face. How could you say no to that face? Please, ma'am, may I have some more? <laughs> and the last one that I got in this bulk lot, um, as I said, they work out about two to three dollars US each. And the last one was this one. I was just, I had to buy the lot <laughs> for that discount. With this here, another little guy like this. Very, very cute. So all really good quality. Um, very very clean which is uh one of my tips when you're going to the markets look at the family or the person selling and look at the toy and you can get a general idea on whether it's uh, um, been taken well care of or not now uh oops this little guy at the back here or little girl because it's a pink one not saying that 
couldn't be a boy because it's pink, but little pink poodle. My daughter actually has three of this one, so this one must be very, very common. She actually has three of this pink poodle. Now, then we got this, <laughs> I'm saving this one for last, I know a few little pet shop eyes would have gone straight for her, <laughs> we'll get to her soon. So I brought this set here, the Doggy Diner, which comes with the play set, it has all the accessories, um, like the play, uh, like this feeding machine, which has magnet movability on it, uh, I believe if they, if one of them uses, oh yeah, there you go, if you use the mat, magnet it falls down so that's really really cute so it has all the accessories the entire play set here I paid ten dollars New Zealand for the lot so seven dollars US I'd say um six to seven dollars US for the set which I thought was really good considering it even has all the recipe books and things still in it and for a kids play set that's very very reasonable so Here is the doggy diner guy, he's a little Jack Russell Terrier and it came with this little green hat which sits on top of him and I know kids love to dress up their hats. He is adorable, his stance is unique I think which is what got me about him and he's good quality. So we'll put him down there. Alright so those are the littlest pet shop older style doggies that I got. Um, let's go on to this little one I got. Now I paid a significant amount for her. I paid $30 US for this one, um, which is a lot of money and um, it was cheaper than what I've been hunting for her. Uh, to buy her online and have her imported over was going to cost me about $100 New Zealand and that was a no-go. <laughs> But this is something I've paid a bit more for because it's my daughter's birthday coming up. So let's open it up. Of course it is Sage the Collie Dog with her accessory. The little travel case and this bow. I'm going to take it out of her, off her head. Hopefully not break it. And have a look up close. Now my daughter has about three collies coming to her. Um, this one, there is a lighter brown one we need to pick up with the pink magnet and a darker brown one. She has decided that she wants the collies. Um, they're highly sought after in the Littlest Pet Shop community. And I couldn't say no. <laughs> so the wear and tear on her is actually not that gr um, not significant at all. Just some paint rubbing on the top front here, you can see, but the rest of her is very, very good quality. There is not rust marks under there. She is the pour up variation and adorable. And of course, a nice big pink magnet. So she is one of my finds of the week. Um, <clears throat> A lot of people say, I'm not going to pay $30 US for um, her, but she is a discontinued line and to be quite honest, when there are collectibles like these, all they can do is go up in value. So it's better to buy them early and buy them cheaper, then wait a long time, regret and buy them for a hell of a lot more. <laughs> so here we are. I have never seen a collie in any of the thrift stores or markets. Cool. So that was that one. Now I have um, a doll obsession. I love dolls. I collect dolls all the time. This is the doll I got this week for $2 New Zealand. So here she is. She of course is an Anne Geddes bunny. She is in a bunny suit, which is removable. The doll can actually be completely taken out. Um, she has vinyl feet and arms. I'm not going to remove her because I quite like her in there. <laughs> I took her out for a, a bit of um, a wash down with a cloth, but she is very good quality. She is very clean. I'm very happy with her. Um, 
She did have an Anne Geddes label somewhere. Is it on the doll? Oh no, here it is. And Geddes label there. And she has the most adorable baby face. So that is a face any mother could love because that is just so incredibly cute. And for $2 New Zealand, what the hay. Now it has lovely long ears that are they're fluffy to touch and um, the fur is not matted in any way it is still soft and the doll inside is clean as I said I took it out I gave it a small dust rub really with a cloth that was my two dollar find for the week for me <laughs> for mummy's collection next I'm going to show my find that broke my heart all right so you are looking at a doll with its head lopped off. As you can see, there is a broken bit of the neck up here. When I brought it, it was not broken. If you are not familiar with this doll line, they are called Catwalk Kitties. They were brought out for a very short amount of time. They are now collectible dolls, and some of them can fetch a very, very high price. This is one of the rare ones I've been told and I brought her in pristine condition for four dollars New Zealand. She has her tail and feet which are usually missing. She was the only thing she was missing was her clothes and she was beautiful condition as you can see with her lovely long hair still intact and um, beautifully clean. She was brought by a doll collector who seeing that I was a doll collector gave her to me for four dollars. As I was setting up the display to show my finds, um, I went away for a short period of time. My children ran in here. I don't know whether it was them, whether it was the cat, or who it, it was just the ghost in the house. I came back and found my dolly on the floor with her head falling off. So she went from an amazing rare find to a great big In a short amount of time with a very broken heart of mummy. I am not going to get rid of her because she is a rare doll find and um, it will only take a bit of super glue to super glue her together. Um, in the future I may take her to a proper doll restorer who I know and get her restored which will cost me a, probably as much as I can buy one brand new. It was a very sad situation as you can buy the heads. Now if you're looking for a kitty cat doll and um, for your littlest pet shop stories or whatever you can buy the heads relatively cheap on eBay. It can cost anything from $7 New Zealand for two heads. It is the bodies that are the hard to find ones. But they can be stuck on a monster high body and still look just as good. So if you know about the kitty, the catwalk kitties and are weeping with me, <laughs> you can know, you know my pain, <laughs> you know my pain from my sheer excitement at finding one and buying it for such a cheap price to breaking it. Sadly, this is what happens and in, quite often with toys, what people do is they grab them and they then biff them in the bin. Dolls like this, don't, please don't biff them in the bin. Get hit. Offer them up for free for people who can restore them and hide the marks and make them look pretty much like brand new because there are people who will pay the ex rather extensive costs to restore them rather than have a piece of doll history thrown in the bin. Okay, so that was my two wonderful finds. One of who is still gorgeous and one who has broken my heart. <laughs> So here are my finds this week from super cute and cheap to not so cheap but still cheaper than you can get it on eBay and hey it's better to pay the price and have it now than to wait and just see it go up in value later. Two absolutely cheap and well worth the money. Two very cheap and broken. Cry! <laughs> If you love Marketplace finds, please give this video a thumbs up. Please check out my other videos on Marketplace finds and give this um, and subscribe. 
If you love toys, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. As you can see, my craft room is absolutely teeming with toys at the moment that my children have picked out. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.